The 10th of Tibet has been a Jewish fast for longer than any other fast. For more than 2,500 years, we mourn on the 10th of Tibet the fact that Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, set siege to Jerusalem. And yet, there's a sort of a modern day aspect to this day, and that is, it's also called now Yom HaKadish HaKlali, it's the day of the general Kaddish. In 1950, the chief rabbinate of Israel established the 10th of Tevet as a day to say Kaddish for anyone who lost a relative in the Holocaust uh, and does not know when to say Kaddish for them. Usually you say Kaddish on the Yortzeit, on a day someone passed away, and yet on the 10th of Tevet we say Kaddish uh, for anyone who we don't know when they passed away because of the fact that so many didn't know what day their relatives died on uh, during the Holocaust. Um, and so in a way it's a day of memorial for the Holocaust, it's a day of observance, and it's a day of saying Kaddish for those who we don't know when it, when is the Yorktide. Uh, it's so important on this day also to remember the people who don't have anyone saying Kaddish for them. There are many people who died with their entire families, communities, everyone, and there is no one left to say Kaddish for them. And so it's so important on this day of the 10th of Tibet, if you are in a position to say Kaddish, to say Kaddish for those people who have no one who even knows about their death, no one who even was able to say Kaddish, never mind know when their Yortzeit is. It's a day of reflection, a day of remembrance, and so it's so important that we remember all our brothers and sisters who passed away and were killed during the Holocaust. Uh, may their memory be a blessing.